Yo, 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 yo. What's up? This is Apis from Toronto, Canada. From Canada. From Canada. From Canada. From Canada. And this is my first video. What's good, guys? Yeah, this is kind of weird because never thought I'd be doing this. But here I am. So you can do it too. Yeah, honestly. So yeah, this video is about my Adobe Illustrator illustration that I did like a couple days ago it took me like I don't know a week or two just to finish it took me a long time like I work from 8 to 3 30 every day at a factory so I only get like three max five hours depending how hard I want to grind that day or that night and then gotta go to sleep, or not, gotta cook dinner and get ready. Go to sleep and then wake up in the morning, do it all over again. You know? That's, that's that, that's that life, yo. That's that art life, that's that grind life, that street life. So what's up? I'm gonna show you how I did it, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna just show you what I did, the process, the whole process. Show you like most steps. Not really gonna explain unless you want to know. You can comment or you can just DM me, ask me like, how'd you do this? How'd you do that? That was sick. And I'll be like, thanks. A lot. That means a lot. I did it like this, this, you know. So yeah, I'm a nice guy. I'm a friendly guy. I'm here to help you. You know, I make my art for you guys. I love you guys, and just want to be able to work with other artists and other people, you know, because we're all talented somehow, some way. Let's work together. I'll show you the clip, but I'll also show you the design. So the design I was working on, boom. That was the design I was working on, and I'll show you how, or not how, but I mean, you'll see it, you'll just see the process. So this is pretty much my studio, if you want to call it a studio, it's like where I live, a little basement, where the magic happens, you know? Skate, not that skate life, so when they're out there skating. And then when I get back home, do some art, and gotta work as well, make that money so I can live here and eat. Yeah. So yeah, this is my house, or my, my studio, my crib, my la casa. What's up? And yeah, I'll show you, I'll show you what's good. Peace. So before starting my design, I always organize my layers and get my layers figured out because the most important thing in Adobe Illustrator is your layers. You gotta get that figured out, you know, just like your feelings, get it figured out. But after I get my layers figured out, outline, color, design, and the sections, I, I start by outlining my overall design. And to do that, I usually use the pen tool because it, it allows me to really get into my, my lines and configure them exactly the way I want it to be. So I use a pen tool and I move forward to using the, the brush tool just because I can freely thicken the lines and it just gives me a little bit more play and it's a lot more freehand and easier to use so yeah use a brush the the blob brush and the pen tool to get my outline done and then after getting my outline done i move on to the color So here I start playing around with the background and the foreground. The original design 
or sketch that I, I drew was just a shoe. So this whole background and foreground was just a little remix, a little freestyle, a little sum I threw in with my own style. It was a lot of fun because I don't usually do stuff like this, so and it kind of made me uncomfortable, but uncomfortably good. <laughs> so yeah, it was a lot of fun. So I finished most of my background and the base colors for the shoe, so I now move on to the gold for the cross and teeth, which is probably the most difficult part of this design because it was hard to really blend the colors together, not like on paper with ink or paint, but I was up for the challenge. I did my best and I'm happy with it. I got most of the color done for the shoe and the background, so I start working on the shine for the shoe base, then move into the clear sole. This part was a lot of fun and really a point for me where I was like, okay, this looks sick. And you can see I use an actual Jordan shoe as a reference to really understand those details because, I don't know, otherwise it would have been hard to really get those shines, like, to figure it out myself, really. So it's okay to use references sometimes. I don't know why, but the blade was the most difficult for some reason. I kept having to change the details around because it wasn't looking the way I wanted it to look. But my most favorite detail is in the blade, which is the wave engraving inspired by the knives made in Japan, which I think are super sick. And if anybody wants to get me one, then I'll happily take it off you. Pretty much down to the final touches, playing around with the shadows and background, both super symbolic, got the shadow grabbing the cross, the floral design in the background actually says 2020, which is the upcoming year and really refers to your vision. Keep it on sight. So just before the video ends, I just want to send a big shout out to August Mycelium for the beat in the back, my girlfriend, family, and friends for supporting me. Like or dislike and leave a comment, let me know what you think. Click the links and check out my Instagram for up-to-date posts. Peace, love, and happiness. Catch you on the flip side. You already know. Rowdy Rad Rat. What, what?